so it's like an amber color and we're testing for um, starch, sugar, and protein, and fat. So, okay, so Gavin, go ahead with your starch. We've got some iodine. One. Two. Okay. Are there any changes in color? Yeah, it looks reddish. Did it change the color? Yeah. Not yet. We should probably wait it looks for like it. Looks like syrup. Okay, so no change in color means what? No starch. No starch, okay? Who's got the Benedix? So the Benedix is what color to start with? It's like blue. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's because of the color behind it or Ooh. not, but it seems to be changing color a little it's bit. It's kind okay. of green right there. It's kind of green. So if it went from blue to green, what does that mean? It has sugar. It has sugar, okay. And then you've got the burettes, and what are you testing for with burettes? The protein. Okay. I think it might have some protein. Okay, Brian. Okay. Brian. Brian. Yep. And then Brian, can you finish this one? It looks kind of yellowish. Yellow, so that means it didn't change. Or did? Wait, wait, you should use it to, like, one of these. Put that, okay? And he's going to put a little bit of red? Like, Brian can't do nothing. Yeah, I know. Just like my love Okay, and then Brian's going to put a little sedan on. Does sedan do anything to it? Sedan's going to test for fat. We should probably just pour it on. Should we just pour it? So, well, don't pour it because it's going to pour across your whole paper. But if there's no change, is there any fat in honey? Uh, no. No. But it looks kind of yellow. So it looks yellowy red. So there could be fat. Then. So yeah. if you get a color change, that means what? It could be. Okay. 